This video covers three tips for hosting productive meetings in Zoom. Here's what a meeting might look like if you're the host. There's you and two other participants. The chat can be a good place to exchange greetings. When you click the chat bubble icon in the lower toolbar, a pop-up panel appears. After you type your message in the chat, hit enter on your keyboard to send it. You can message everyone or send a direct message to one specific person. There's another great way to use the chat during classes or meetings. As the host, you can encourage others to type their questions in there. They might feel more comfortable doing this if they don't want to interrupt the speaker. You can also decide who participants can chat with by clicking the three dots icon and selecting your preference. Our second tip is about muting yourself and others. Sometimes noise in people's backgrounds gets amplified on Zoom. For example, if there's a fire truck going by your window, you can click the microphone button to mute yourself. Once it passes, click the microphone again to turn it back on. There might be someone in the meeting whose background noise is distracting. Typically, you can tell where the noise is coming from because Zoom will spotlight this person's video, which means that a lit up box will appear around their screen. In order to mute them, click the participants icon in the lower toolbar. The pop-up panel will appear on the right-hand side. Hover over the microphone next to the person's name, and it will turn into a blue button that says mute. Afterwards, you can ask them to unmute themselves, since you can't directly turn on their microphone. If you're unsure exactly where the noise is coming from, you can click mute all at the bottom of the panel you will get a pop-up about muting current and new participants. Click Continue. Our third tip is about making someone else the host. This is useful if you as the host need to leave the meeting, but you want for the other participants to be able to continue. In the Participants panel, hover over the camera icon of the person you want to make the host. The icon will turn into a blue button that says More. When you click this button, Select Make Host from the drop-down menu. A pop-up window will appear asking you to confirm this change. When you click Yes, you will see that the word Host now appears in parentheses next to the person's name. They also receive a message on Zoom that they are now the host, meaning that they are in charge of the meeting. If you make someone the host by accident or want to reclaim this position, click the white button at the bottom of the panel that says Reclaim Host. If you're using the Zoom app, you also have the ability to make someone else the co-host, meaning that you both have control over the meeting settings. Hopefully these three tips will help your meetings run more smoothly. They might make things a bit easier as you learn to navigate Zoom. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.